we are back to the winds with a decline. Look at the big pulley up here that they must have had a, a hoist up here. That looks pretty loose still. Oh yeah, that's all greased up still. I see a plank down there. That probably leads into a drift level a bit. It looks like there's a drop off. You don't know how deep it's it is. It's a little slippery there. Yeah. It's just it's just angled forward enough and a little bit rubbly. Is it collapsy? Um, <laughs> collapsy. Frank, you're teasing me now. No, I don't know if it's collapsy or not. Frank's teasing me about my use of the word collapsy. No, but it's slippery. Is that a drift level where that plank goes across? This plank is just sticking off into a chute over there. There's a little storage area here. Yeah, they've got some pipe stored in here and some holes. This is looking down the winds. It falls down. It's like this, except it's nice up there because there's timbering. But see down here, the timbering's gone. Well, something down a ways it is. But can you see the plank way down there? No. There's another plank like this. This one's just sitting in a chute. I don't know why this is even here. But there's another, another plank right there. See the tracks go across a bridge down there. You see that? So I'm down here, it looks like it might be another drift level here. I'm walking across it was kind of a sketchy bridge. There's a ladder down into another stope or something. More of the same that we saw up above shoots, ladders, into kind of a cool vein here and a work platform. Load counts. I'm kind of zipping through here because Frank and Julie are up there waiting for me. Really hot back in here, really white. Another huge shoot. And more of the same. And that's the end of this. So we're back to here. This is the bridge. It goes down. Looks like there was another windlass down lower there. Here's back to the bottom of the winds. Of the first drift level off the winds. The wind keeps going, but I'm not going to go down there. You can see it keeps going, and there's probably another level down there.
There's no ladders. Oh, yeah, that's not good. These, these cross ties? Yeah, the cross yeah, ties you can use to sort of like a ladder. And it's really slippery. There's, there's no cross ties. That's, that's really it's difficult. Really hard and it's I almost need a rope for something exciting. like that. Mm -hmm. And there's a sketchy bridge you got to go across. So I've climbed this ladder here. Kind of video and climb at the same time. There's a stope over here. It's a tight squeeze there, Frank. side quest here on our way back to the car from the mine and I saw this little milling operation up here this tailings here and there's a leaching tank up above it and I think there's a tram over here too here's a huge half of a wheel so it looks like this is probably a leaching tank for a cyanide operation and not sure what these were. Whew. More stuff. Let's go look over here. There was a, another engine. This is a six cylinder, straight six. So there must have been, I don't exactly know how this all worked here, but that was some kind of milling operation. This might have been another tram here too. Seems like there were more than one tram up there. six levels of this thing pretty crazy we're almost back to the Jeep it was a pretty epic explore I thought well we're almost done with our explore for the day We enjoyed going to the Humbug Gold Mine with Frank and Julie. And it was a pretty good hike up there, that's for sure. 